Hi everyone, Jamie Lee here. And introduce yourself. <laughs> And Capri. And Capri. We're from Bird Tricks, and today we are going to be talking about the differences between sun conures and green cheek conures. And we have both. So this video is going to be awesome. Mm -hmm. So why don't you go get them? Lily doesn't like me. <laughs> she might be nice in this video. Uh, I'll get Lily, you get Olivia. Okay. Deal? Yeah. Okay. So I got Lily, and what do you do? <laughs> <laughs> She's being hormonal. <laughs> oh boy! All right, you hang with Lily. <laughs> I'll go get Olivia. Where I don't did know Lily if I go? can do that. Uh, Lily's up there. Oh, you're up there, Lil. Oh, oh, Barry is dive bombing you. Is that what's happening? Just trying to scare you. Okay, you hang out. Oh. <laughs> You're gonna need to eat that on Capri because I gotta go get Olivia. Here you go. Oh, well, okay. Was, if you don't offer your hand, that's what happened. I was leaving the shoulder for you. That's what I thought you were doing. Okay, you guys be good. Barry, you can't come. Sorry. I don't know where she will go. So, if she does, you gotta just gotta keep an eye. <sighs> okay. So, Olivia doesn't prefer the same treats. As our son Conyers, and this one. She likes little safflower seeds, while our son Conyers really like nuts. She's chewing it right here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the first difference between green cheek Conyers and sun Conyers is obviously how they look. So they're completely different colors. And sun Conyers, for the most part, are just this vibrant yellow red and orange. Um, there's a few different variations, but for the most part, you're gonna see this like vibrant, these vibrant colors. The tips of their wings are a darker blue, so is the very end of their tail, um, and then they have a lot of green mixed in. So our sun conures, a lot of people thought they were like Sunday or Gende conures when they were really little, because they took a while to get all their bright, bright yellow coming in. I think there's also red factor conures, uh, sun conures where they just have a lot more red. We got asked if they were that for a while as well. So yeah, but for the most part, you're gonna see them look like this. Now green cheek con conures come in a ton of different variations. This one in particular, Olivia, she is a pineapple green cheek conure. Um, <laughs> so a lot of people like the turquoise green cheek conures for the most part, uh, they're all little green cheeks. The second difference about them, do you know what it is? Can you point out something that's obvious between the two of them? Besides their colors. <laughs> do you think that they're the same size? No, they're definitely not the same size. Definitely not the same size. So green cheek conures, especially this one, Olivia, she's about 65 grams, whereas Lily, she, come on. <laughs> she is about 109 grams. So she's chubby. She's not <laughs> she's chubby. chubby. She's muscular. Uh, she flies a lot. But it doesn't mean that Olivia isn't muscular. It just means that this is a smaller type of conure species than a sun conure. Sun conures tend to be like beefy little guys. Chubs. Chubs. They're, chubs. they're not chubs, they're just beefy. Um, and they're a bigger type of species. So you're dealing with, you know, about a 30 to 40 gram difference sometimes between the two, depending. Yeah, you are all into this video right now. We should just let you do the talking. Um, what else is different between green cheeks and sun conures? I would say, would you have something? I was going to say, she has a little red to me, and then she has like an orange and red tummy. Tummy? <laughs> yeah, definitely their colors are a lot different. Their size is different. I would say the next thing that's really different is their vocalizations. Um, Lily, even though she's crunching away on a almond right now, so she's not very loud at the moment, um, <laughs> <laughs> sun conures are much louder than green cheek conures, just as a generalization. So when they go they screaming, <laughs> if they had a screaming match, who would win? Lily would definitely win. So sun conures, much louder, much, much louder. Every time we film a video with sun conures, they never show how loud they are. Yeah, they don't show loud, but like when we walk in to go get a bird, they yell like crazy. 
Dave allowed his out of work lock. Mm -hmm. And we have macaws, guys. Yep. Yep. Yep, yep. Um, what else is different about them? Um, oh, I feel they, a little something blue on that me. There's a little blueberry. I think Barry would like to be part of this video. Differences between Conyers and Budgies. <laughs> that, oh, little Barry. That Barry's blue, tiny, adorable, and a little chubby. She's not chubby. Oh, there we go. There's some sound for you. Lily didn't even agree with that statement. <laughs> I don't think Barry did either. She's defending Barry. Although, probably not really. No. Hey, Lou. Hi, baby. Kisses. Lily gives kisses. <laughs> she does. She does good kisses. Um, I do think that it really, oh my gosh, what a mess. That's all for Barry. I do think it really depends on how experienced you are with each type of conure, but I find sun conure body language to be a lot more obvious than green cheek conure body language. Bless you. Would you agree with that? She's mm -hmm. not sneezing. She's like making that noise nope. on purpose. Rude, Barry. Rude. <laughs> uh, would you agree with that? Do you think that it's easier to... She's just trying to pull the... She has a little bit of almonds in your hair. I know. Uh, <laughs> do you think it's more obvious when Olivia is upset or when Lily is upset? Um. Reminder, Olivia, Lily. Lily? Why? I don't know, not usually around the con. <laughs> You're a little fearful of them. Um, so I personally find, why, why are you freaking out? I don't know she's, what she's doing. She's being nice. I don't know what you're worried about. She's being fine with they you. they're usually mean with me. Um, it makes a difference that there's just the one right now. So, but you gotta act not scared of her, okay? Okay? Chill out. <laughs> Sit up straight. Stop freaking out. She's being nice. Capri, <laughs> you're gonna provoke her to be bad if you keep acting like that. Can you take her? You're that uncomfortable? Yes. Yes, I can take her. You wanting to go up there? <laughs> be nice though. Olivia's on the other side. Okay, as I was saying, I find it, oh, there we got some vocalizations. Um, <clears throat> Barry. Uh, I find it easier to read Lily, my Sun Conyer, than I do to read Olivia, the little green cheek Conyer. And I think a lot of that is because Sun Conyers are bigger in their expressions, and I can tell from a greater distance that Lily is going to get upset with somebody or doesn't want somebody to approach or be close just by her change of vocalizations and her change of posturing. She'll get kind of like gangster, <laughs> for lack of better, better words. She kind of like does this little like bring it on dance, like, and, Ugh, and she gets real puffed. Um, <clears throat> it's pretty comical, which I think is why a lot of people accidentally reinforce it, taking it as dancing, um, when it's more of like a sacrificial dance, like someone's gonna die. Um, another thing that they have different kind of goes with their color, it's their beak color. Um, uh, Olivia has a pinkish beak, and then Lily has a black beak. Yep. You're bigger than her, you gotta be nice. Okay. Okay. Uh uh. Nope, nope, nope. We gotta be nice. We gotta be nice. You want to hold Olivia? I will try. Oh, bye. Calm she's being, down. She's being so mean in the cage to me. She's not being mean now, right? Little Olivia. Little Olivia. She's calm. You need to calm down. Uh, and it's probably a good time to point out that Olivia is not ours. She belongs to a client, and she's going home sometime this month, so. You're going to your forever home soon. But we have been hanging out with her and enjoying the heck out of her and uh, getting to know Green Cheek body language a little bit more has been really super duper fun. But Lily's not a fan. Huh, Lil? Not so much? 
Should we give some treats real quick? Yeah. You're being good. Yeah, don't move to her yet, because she has a game. Lily. Lily, girl. Where'd Barry go? I don't know. I'm sure she'll make herself known when she wants oh, to cause trouble. She's eating. Other than that, as far as the differences, those would be what I would say would be the main differences. Um, I do think that they're equally as good of flyers. They tend to do typical conure behaviors as far as wanting to hang out on your shoulder, um, nestle into your hair if it's down, which is why we put our hair up to kind of avoid those nesty behaviors. Um, what else? A lot of conures want to get into your clothing. And Olivia, it kind of goes with the colors again. Her feet are pinkish colored and um, Lily's are like her beet color, like blackish. Dark gray, yeah. Um, so the other thing about them that I think, I wanted to point out also the similarities. So I can feed these two the exact same diet. So I give them both the seasonal feeding system for breakfast and then my organic cold pressed pellets in the evening. And they're both able to eat those just fine. I know a lot of people have concerns about our pellets being too big for small birds, but even our conures eat them just fine. And actually we give them to our budgie as well, so. Yeah. Are you hiding? Oh, hi, Barry. Hi, Barry. From Barry. <laughs> Just wanted to see Actually, how many birds we could get in this video. Blueberry, oh. um, if you haven't noticed, is just trying to provoke these two to fly around. Because she finds that as a very she fun and entertaining crash. game. How many birds can I scare into the air and watch fly around? It's like bowling instead of them falling over if they fly or they just don't move. Yeah, no, it was to play me down so that she got a victory here at the end. Correct. After camping, I feel like I'm a bit like It is a little bit. It is a little bit, Barry. It's a little bit rude. Okay. Can we see um, some things that are similar? <clears throat> yeah. What do you think is similar about them? Because that's kind of where I was starting to go. Um, I didn't do anything yet, so. Okay, what about how we train them? Is that similar or different? Um, pretty similar. Except for the treats, because they both like different treats. Yeah, so keep that in mind. Um, and that just varies even bird to bird. So I might have two macaws of the same species that prefer totally different treats. So that's just something that you have to play around with and treat test. Um, I think the other thing similar is how we house them, right? Yeah. We house them in similar situations. So we use walk-in aviaries, and it works really well. And then when we bring them into our home to hang out with them, we have foraging treats all around, and I find that that works really well. Um, and as far as toys, that's probably similar. We give our birds a variety of toys. We just have to make sure that they're made out of really safe materials. And then size doesn't really necessarily matter because for a conure, they can play on them, they can jump on them, they can obviously chew them. But if we wanna give them something that they can really destroy more easily, we might go for a smaller size. So, but the bigger sizes they can still enjoy. She's just leaning she's, against your neck, it's so cute. She's scratching herself. <laughs> Uh, you gotta, why'd you move? I was trying to get it. She it scratches so herself and then it like scratches me so it's like ticklish and then it feels super weird. She went straight. Oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I don't want some kitty on a fight on me. Lil, what was that? That's what I would say the main differences were. And then similarities, uh, I think is equally important because you're kind of doing the same, you have the same cage requirements, you have the same space requirements. And for us, the more space, the better. Um, <laughs> you're just kind of a mess. <laughs> yeah, that's from So this. do you have a favorite? If, if we didn't have birds and I said, Capri, should we get a green cheek conure or a sun conure, what would be your vote? Like just assuming we don't, we didn't have any birds, and I said that. Knowing what you know about them both, which one do you prefer? I like both of them. You don't have to feel guilty about your choice. Probably a green cheek because they're more quiet. Yeah, and that is usually why people pick green cheeks over sun conures is just the noise level alone. As you can see in this video, Lily is super duper loud and Olivia is barely vocalized at all. And when she does, it's just not ear deafening. So, and plus the more conures you have, I feel like the louder it gets to a point where it just doesn't even matter how many you add because it's just gonna stay super loud. So 
Yeah. Um, let us know which one is your favorite and why. So in the comments below, tell us, do you like Sun Conyers better or do you like Green Cheeks? And make sure to include why. And maybe if you have one of those species, you can share what your bird's name is with us because we love looking at people's uh, bird's names because we just like having ideas and I think you guys come up with the best names. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and share this with somebody who might find benefit from it or just be entertained by the antics of our Conyers today. She's pushing my neck. <laughs>